There is a new exploit for Linux. A lot of exploits have been happening as Linux has become a bit more popular. And, well, it's pretty interesting to see some of these. Instead of showing you some article saying this is the exploit, I like to pull up an old Linux instance, show you the exploit in action, update that instance, and see if the exploit is still happening. Uh, this specific exploit is uh, basically to where you can elevate your user to root and delete the whole system if you want it. So like, let's say I wanted to delete the root folder, you know, like this uh, and just do like a recursive force. It's going to say permission denied because, well, I don't have permissions to remove the root folder because I'm not root. Uh, however, we can elevate this. I'm using CentOS 7 for this because it was a pretty big in production. You should obviously not be using CentOS anymore. Use Go to like Alma or Rocky Linux if uh, you're using a RHEL-based system, but also update your system. I've already tried this exploit in the latest version of Arch and also the latest version of Ubuntu, and both uh, basically failed, which is good. But I want to show you a success story, so we're using an older version of Linux. Uh, we're going to first just do a wget and grab our script to basically hack into Linux. And we're going to do this with hacks.in uh, files. And then I think it was blasty verse p, yeah, p exec dot c. Now, this is a, a C file. And I'm just going to cat that just to make sure I got the right one. Oh, <laughs> it actually did not grab it because of the certificate. All right, now let's cat Blasty. And you'll see this is just a, a C program. So let's uh, compile this, we'll use GCC. So far, the only two dependencies we have are pretty much on every Linux system out there. Uh, most Linux systems have uh, pkexec, which is what we're gonna exploit. Uh, they have wget to grab stuff from the internet, and they have GCC to compile C programs. So we're gonna do GCC, uh, blast DC dash O for output. And then we'll just call this make me root. And then if we do it all listing, you'll see make me root and we'll just run that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. We are now root in our little user home, but let's try and go to the root directory. Can we do stuff? Let's uh, just make a file blow up system. LS. Oh boy. So we just elevated without any pseudo, without anything into the root user. And from that root prompt, we can just have fun with this system. Now, mind you, this is a, a local elevation exploit, meaning you have to be logged into the system. So it's not a, a, as bad as like, like a lot of Windows executables or, or exploits where people will do remote execution, which is extremely vulnerable. That's why a lot of Windows stuff is uh, as a hacker, it would be much more appealing to go after Windows systems because uh, I haven't really seen too many remote executables. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen one in a Linux system. So uh, that, just a quick explanation. So let's uh, let's change this. Let's update our system. We're going to go ahead and exit this. We'll clear it out. And we're just going to do a sudo yum update. And we'll do that with a, a yes. And what this is going to do is it's going to grab the latest version of everything, update the CentOS 7 system, and let's just see if this is any better than what it is now. All right, it looks like we finally got our system updated. It took a couple minutes, and we're just going to do a reboot and uh, see what happens on our reboot. Looks like we got a new kernel, um, some new firmware, more up-to-date packages. Uh, so let's install that. We're in the hacker um, and let's take a look here. First, let's just try and do make me root, see what happens. Ah, look at that. Cool. So it did patch that. Uh, if we do PK exec, I think that was an older version of PK exec. And if we do dash dash version, yeah, this is 0 0.112. Uh, I know on Arch, it's a little bit different. So obviously, patch your systems is what this is telling me. Uh, and let's let's change this up a little bit more. And from here, let's go ahead. And I want to just show you my system here. And uh, we can do the same thing. I actually think I've already downloaded uh, Make Me Root and did all that. Let's just remove that and... 
I'll just grab that Blasty, do a GCC, Blasty-C, output that to root, um, and let's just say root, and yeah, does the same thing, um, and it will just deny you that. And the PK exec on this one, dash dash version, you'll see is a one, uh, 0 0.120, which is a little bit different from our CentOS version. But it's good to see this actually patched. And I've actually uh, run this a couple times with uh, different scenarios. I did a blanket Ubuntu server install just to see what would happen. And Ubuntu server now basically bakes in security patches directly into their installer. And you can't even cancel the updates to it because I tried to install it on Ubuntu and it just wouldn't let me do it in a native form. Now, obviously, if I had an old version of Ubuntu already spun up that was offline or not getting updates, I could still run this exploit and do it. But it's just nice to see that... Uh, the Linux community is always so far ahead of this. And I, I think at one time I bashed a security researcher, and for that I apologize. But it's really nice to see these security researchers putting this stuff out here so we can try it. But it also tells you how important updates are because you can actually take this stuff from these security researchers, try it out on your system, and then you can see the vulnerability yourself. You don't have to take your advice from some internet personality on YouTube. You can actually try it and then figure it out yourself. So this is kind of a cool little exploit. Uh, definitely try it on some systems. Make sure you're patched. Uh, run your updates as uh, you probably hear so often, but this is why you run your updates as uh, you can see from my example. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.